this is handy from Solar. Look at this, the new printer from Solar. Solar as we all said. Today, I will unbox it and assemble it. Let's get started. Well, first we need to check out all the parts in the box. The manual book, it will tell you how to assemble the printer and how to level the bed and some slicing tutorial and the wire connection. Okay, this is the manual book. And also we have a quick leveling guide and they also have some tips and the slicing. Okay, this is a after sale card. If you have any questions about Solar SVO sex, then you can contact us via email or the message on Facebook page. The display, so it's the knob display. And it also has the Solar logo. Oh, here is a filament holder. This heavy thing is the, the Genshin. The extruder. I guess it's the toolbox. So the package is ready packed away. This is the toolbox. It almost has everything that you need for the printer. So let's take a look. What does it have? The the tire, the spatula, um, some wrenches, and the nozzle cleaner. Um, the tool for the nozzle. If you want to replace the nozzle, you can use this tool. So it won't hurt your your fingers because the nozzle. It's really hot if you hit the nozzle. Uh, the holes and the screws. The spare nozzle and the SD card and the card reader. The zip, zip ties. Okay, so that's all the tools. And the filament holder. The filament for paste and the power cable. Next is the base frame. And the, this one is the, the control box. The memory is inside here. And the, the, the power supply. Okay, that's all the parts here. Look at this thread. Place the gantry on the base along this thread so that the bolt can go through this hole. Take out the M5 by 15 bolt to secure the gantry. the display on the little box here and push it down so it won't work. Then install the power supply. I will insert a carbon M4 by 20 box to the profile first, then hold the power supply along the profile, tighten the bolts.
Hold the extruder like this, insert the screws and tighten them. Uh, one thing I need to mention, the screws for extruder M3.5 is really small, so you need to be careful when using it. I lost one when I assembled SVO sets at the first time. Turn the aircraft switch on the control box to the left from the locked state to the unlocked state. Set the control box along the handling plate. Then, entire control box down to let it be locked on the handling plate. Install the frame holder. It towards right using M5 by 10 screws to secure it. Final step is to connect the cables. Check out if your wire motor wire is connected because mine is connected after I take it out from the box. Also, please select the correct input voltage to match your local mains. All right, it's finished. So let's turn on the printer to check out if it works. So SVO6 is also very easy to assemble. To most of people, it may take about 15 minutes. I hope this video is helpful for you. We will also make more videos about solar SVO6 and publish them on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell beside the subscribe button so you won't miss any update video about SVO6. Okay, goodbye. See you in the next video.